two stories that I want to highlight today that in a sense reflect much that is wrong in India even today. One is the story that has come from Jashpur in Chhattisgarh where the brother of a sitting MP Vikramaditya Judev whose brother Ranvijay Judev is an MP from Jashpur whose father Dilip Singh Judev was a prominent MP from the region and was even a minister has run over a school director after a scuffle and is now absconding. Just think about this. A minister's son, the brother of a sitting MP, runs over someone after a scuffle. Apparently is someone who has a notorious temper and is now absconding. What does that suggest about the kind of people that perhaps are entering politics in this country. I'm just looking at this story and just wondering whether someone, and we are told that he's now been charged with attempt to kill. So it appears that an MP's brother obviously believes that he has the license to kill a school director. That's a story that should trouble us. And because it's happening in Jashpur, which is in the heart of Chhattisgarh, it hasn't registered on the national conscience in the manner that it should. So that's one story that troubles me. The second story is the story that has come in today from Haryana of a state level gold medalist winning boxer who is now wiping the floors and working as a maid to make ends meet. Think about it. Haryana is the boxing capital of India. It's thrown up some of India's best boxers. Vijinder Singh is of course the mascot for Haryana boxing. Now in the home of boxing, if a state gold medal winning boxer is now having to work as a maid, what does that suggest again? I think one story reflects arrogance, as in the Chhattisgarh story, one reflects apathy, particularly in sports where cricketers are our mega stars and boxers slide, sadly have to wipe the floors. Can we change this system? Can we reduce the arrogance of those in power and the VIP privileges that they believe they have? And can we ensure a true level playing field for some of our star sportsmen? That's what I'm thinking about today. That's, those are two stories that come to mind. What do you think of them? Do send us your feedback and let's keep these video blogs as interactive as possible. Thanks for listening.